Zubi is a hip-hop artist who was born in England, grew up in Saudi Arabia, and is a graduate of the prestigious University of Oxford. Through years of hard work and dedication, he has become one of the UK's most accomplished independent rappers with over 23,000 albums sold and three nationwide tours completed. His intelligent wordplay, inspirational lyrics, and distinct voice have earned Zubi a loyal fan base. To date, he has reached over 850,000 YouTube views, 22,000 Facebook fans, and 13,000 Twitter followers. He is also one of the first British artists to open his own pop-up shops, where he sells his music, merchandise, and own brand of wireless headphones. Zubi is an experienced live performer with over 100 gigs to date. He has performed all over the UK as well as in the US, Germany, Czech Republic, Estonia, Serbia and Saudi Arabia. He has also supported many well-known artists including Tech 9 among others. Several of his songs have received airplay on BBC radio stations including BBC 6, BBC South, BBC Oxford, BBC Norfolk, and BBC Essex. He has also received spins on many regional, national, and international radio stations. You're welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is the Just Eve show. And I have, um, I don't know what to call him now, because he refused to give me a T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't refuse. I said, we'll talk after. We'll talk off camera. No, but you see, but if, if, if we could talk on camera, then I can hold you to it, because the whole nation will oh, watch okay, it. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you know? But talking off camera, you know, it's, it's not. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> okay, 23,000 albums. Yeah, it's a lot. For how actually. long have you been doing this? Oh, gosh. What, selling CDs? Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, for you to have been able to sell yeah. 23,000 well, albums. Well, based on the, like, like I was saying, it's and been how, on how and how long? Off. It's been on and off, so that hasn't been, I mean, the majority of, the vast majority of those have been in the last five years. In the last five years. The that's majority. still a lot, yeah. man. So, still, it's still, it's, thank and you. you've been, you've done it on your own. Yeah, that's individual. That's out of my own two hands. That's, I've directly sold that. No, no record label. No, I'm not signed. I'm not signed. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and um, to date, you've you, you have over you've had over eight hundred and fifty thousand views on YouTube. Yeah, around, yeah, around that. that. Yeah, around there that. They're about that. On my channel, yeah. You you know what? I'm trying to get my head around how you alone are doing this. You don't have any management. No, I manage myself. You manage yourself. Yeah, always. Have. Is is there a reason why you've 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 wanted to do this all by yourself? Or do you have plans to get others on board to help It's you? a combination of necessity and desire. Um, so if, that's the best way to put it. So as an artist, from the beginning, my focus was on building my fan base, mm -hmm. really. Um, it wasn't necessarily on trying to get signed or trying to get a manager or trying to impress this person or that person within the music industry. So. You know, I just took the reins and was like, okay, I'm just going to do this and steer my career. And as time progressed, mm. I mean, I don't really even feel, there's very rare times when I even feel like I, I need a manager. Like if I had a manager, I don't really know. Unless they were just supremely connected and could hook me up with stuff that I couldn't, then I don't really know what they'd be doing. Others would say you're arrogant. I don't think that's arrogant at all. Well, that's, that's what people would say. I don't think so. Yeah. I, just, I just think that it, it's a drive, it's a passion mm. that you want and you, you're going to have to do it if you have to do it yourself. Yeah. And, and it's very, very difficult getting music, getting airplay on like a BBC, for oh, yeah. instance. It it's, is. It is. And you've, you've had it in, in, in Oxford, North, uh, Essex. How did you do that? Um, again, personal con um, 
making those connections. I think, first of all, making good music, I think, is the core of stuff mm. I'd like to think I make. <laughs> I make dope music. Mm. Um, but, yeah, with most of those, again, it's been personal connections. I mean, mm. shout out to the, to the DJs on those stations and presenters who have supported what I do because there are you know, a lot of people who do and a lot of people who don't. Mm. So I'm grateful for each individual who does. But in terms of getting that, it's mm. pretty much been I'm in, say, Norwich selling my CDs and <laughs> maybe I'll, I'll meet someone from the station or I'll be in this <laughs> or be in the city for a couple of days and see go in there and you know you're talking to people I'm always talking to people okay, so okay for instance yeah um um now you're on the train okay right and you're sitting next to somebody yeah how does this conversation like hello I'm Zubi I'm, I'm, I'm a hip-hop artist on the train yeah oh I don't tend to hustle on trains but okay so I have sold CDs on trains though <laughs> I've sold, sold CDs in an airplane before. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've sold CDs in an, in an airplane before. Yeah, definitely on trains. But not like going out there specifically to do that. I'll be on my way somewhere. So you're not a shy person? No, not at all. Not at all. I, I, I'd need to get some skills from you because you take these cameras away, I'm just rubbish. I'm, oh, really? I'm so shy. Yeah. I wouldn't know how to say hello if you don't say hello to me. No, really? it's, it's, it's really that bad. Honestly, it's, it's practice. As in, the first time I ever went out to sell my CDs just to the strangers, to the public, I was shook. I was like, whoa, I'm way out of my depth here. How do I do this? And then I spoke to one person. And then I was like, okay, if I can talk to one person, I can talk to a second one. And after about an hour, I was just talking to everyone. <laughs> and it wasn't really that bad. I look at it like strangers are people, you, strangers are friends you haven't met yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's, yeah that's a nice that's way. That's how I look that, at it. That, so when I came here today, I didn't know anyone here today, but you just say, oh, hey, what's up? Um, introduce yourself. and You can do that to anyone. Fantastic. You don't, you don't even need to be, you don't need yeah, to have a yeah, motive or whatever. Yeah. You just say, I oh, agree with you totally. Just yeah. that some of us are not cut out to, to... I think you've got it in you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you need a reason, though. I, I, I had a reason. I had a reason. My reason was, <laughs> so. if I'm here, I've got a bag full of CDs. If I don't talk to anybody, I'm not going to sound like Sell anybody. Yeah, so. point. Point. Okay, tell us about the seven, the, the, the seven. This is this your latest, is it your latest project? It is my latest yeah, release, yeah. 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 Tell us about that. Okay, so uh, seven is an EP I released on the 7th of the 7th last year, 7th of July. Um, it's an EP produced by... Um, a guy called Anno Domini. He's someone I've worked with since my very first release. So it's a seven-track EP. Um, I actually recorded it just in about a day and a half. Um, I record fast. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't write it in a day and a half, but recorded it very quickly. Um, and yeah, it's a collection of songs with a pretty... It's got, it has a very particular sound to it. It's quite epic and orchestral. So what I tend to do is with my albums... Um, I'll put together a bigger range of different kinds of music on it and you know lots of different themes and topics in terms of the lyrics but with my EPs they tend to have a particular sound to them so I had an EP called Zubstep for example which was a blend of hip-hop and dubstep so all of my all, the whole sound on it is dubstep somewhat electronic mm. very bass heavy so it's got a particular sound with Seven I went more for an orchestral epic sort of vibe and by just working with a single producer on it it gives it that feel throughout the whole thing so I like to make a big range of different mm, music mm. Um, and yeah my, ne my next single is and later singles this year are going to be pretty different to that but I like to keep myself somewhat open like in terms of my lyrical content and my overall message I try to keep that consistent mm. but in terms of production styles and things mm. like that I'm happy to experiment a little bit. And well done. Um, we're we're going to have to take a break now. Um, we'll take this quick break and we'll be back right after this. In 2013, the Zobstep EP reached number 12 on the UK iTunes Hip Hop Chart. This was a remarkable achievement for an unsigned artist and a testament to Zubi's growing fan base. This was followed by a successful crowdfunding campaign in 2014 where he raised nearly £9,000 on Kickstarter to fund multiple music videos for his fourth album, The Year of Zubi. On July the 7th, 2016, Zubi released his seventh independent project, The Seven EP. 
produced by longtime collaborator Anno Dom Domini Beats. He is currently promoting his new release around the two. He is currently promoting his new release around the UK. I think easy come, easy go. Mm -hmm. You know, if you take a long time to build something and really cultivate relationships and learn the ins and outs of all the different aspects. I mean, I, know, I, know, I feel like I know stuff. I know how to do stuff that a rapper doesn't really even have any business knowing how to do. You know, mm -hmm. I, I built my own, I built my own websites and. Yo, what's up, it's Zui. Um, to anyone who's watching, any young people, I just want to say, it might sound cliche, but if you've got a dream, go after it, follow it, learn, study, learn from other people, and just don't give up. Zuby, stand up. Desire to inspire. Anno Domini. Let's go get him, bro. Uh, seven. You can put your hands up, let the ceiling go rain. Got a couple bands up, only sealing my pain. Wear a man cat, see the feel of my flame. Scurry like a lab ready, you're finna get main. Why you so mad? Cause I top that page. And he stock backstage when I rock that stage. Be more glad if they lock that cage. And I cock back rage and I pop that gauge. Unemotional, I never drop that frame. Look emotional, you can't stop that train. Couple females do a point of derail, won't go into detail, but I drop that flame. Wait, 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 let me top that game. Big name watch, drop top frame. What a clock more fame, if I chop cocaine while I pop champagne on a goddamn plane. Sipping it sassily, mixed with match, lipping it lavish. This is a travesty. I think the new epidemic is vanity. You think yourself is a good for humanity. I'm getting better, the proof, no profanity. Y'all getting better on too many calories. Still shooting up from the boots to the canopy. Still moving up, but stay grounded like gravity. Rubble veracity, lyrical mastery, artist tenacity, vicious audacity. I'm not a scrapper who's charged like a battery. I'm an attacker who's common calamity. Rapping so swift that this radio bless me. If they don't play it, I'll reach for the mantelpiece. See something supple and slap them with savagery. Get away, cleaning the bleed for insanity. Tell you the difference with me and the rest of them They're thinking now when I'm thinking what's next for him They see an obstacle and see impossible I see a weight that I've already benched You think I'm lucky, I think that I'm blessed You think I'm cocky, I think that I'm hench You cannot copy, the flow is too choppy A borderline sloppy and feeble at best Cold like Sub-Zero, no hero contest The Legion of Doom with the freedom of press Spit till they heard of me all over Germany Denmark, France, Sweden and all other rest I went to Serbia and it was blessed Czech or Estonia, love from the press Seeking advantages, speaking three languages Dreaming in Spanish and scheming in French Switch automatically, speaking emphatically Flipping it casually, syllable flattery Grade A like actors who peak with a salary Straight A like slappers who sleep with the faculty I don't mean malice, I'm hungry and panicky Come to your palace while feeding your family Part of my manners, I'm not from this planet I come like Galactus to feed on your galaxy yeah. I am a dreamer that's seeking reality I am a schemer in peace of mortality Can't live forever, I'll speak through the gallery Every verse is a seat for humanity Very high peak in the journey is hilly The higher you reach and the more that is chilly Give up and quit it, seems smarter than silly But you never know when you're shy of a million More than a story, it's more than it seems So if you want glory, then shoot for your dreams Don't be a puppet and hustle for ducats Unless you're the owner or part of the scheme This my philosophy, rapping, I breathe And my drive and been floppy since Apple II Spitting the truth ever since I was teen And the rhythms like denim, it's all in my genes Knowledge is power, I seek with veracity Quicker the vision, the sick of the strategy my weakest bar is a gem, no opacity Start at the end of your mental capacity I graduated the sickest academy Waited to get 40 grips as a salary Traded it in and a bit till it happily Emancipated my freedom, my sanity Yeah, glory 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 Are you Dan Zuby? Okay, can I ask how old you are? I'm 30. 30. So you have, it's, it's fair to say that you have been through the school of life in terms of what, of what you do. Yeah. Right. Now, um, I, I want to ask you, now, young people out there want to do, I know a lot, there are a lot of young people who want to do, be like you, do what you do. Mm -hmm. 
but don't um, don't know how. Okay. Right now, for the past how many minutes or so, I've listened to you talk. Mm -hmm. I think the norm is okay. I, I get a manager, get a record label, but you've done it on your own. And from yeah. the way you're talking, I don't think you ever would. <laughs> I, I'm not completely close to the idea. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm I'm happy for people to help me. You know, like I like help, but I don't. There's there's a difference between appreciating people helping you, and being completely at the mercy of, of people. other people. Yes, I, I think that's that's what and you I, don't yeah, want. And I think I, way I, too I many that. artists put themselves at the mercy of the industry. I mean, look at look at X Factor. Look at the boys. All these all these people going on these shows. You're completely putting your entire, you know future and opportunity to success in other people's hands. You so just, you don't like any of those reality shows? I can't shows. stand any of them. I can't stand them. I really dislike them. Um, yeah, I dislike them. I'm not afraid to say that. Um, I just think it gives both artists and the public a very false impression of what the music industry is Yeah, yeah. All the, about. I agree with you, you there. Know, it's, a, it's a great business model. I respect mm. the business model. I'm, I look at Simon Cowell, like, mm, great business, like smashed it. But he's the one, you know, he's the one really reaping the rewards from that show over the past decade. You know, I mean, it, a couple of people, you know, I mean, some people have had some success from it, of course. Mm. Like, I don't, I don't discount that. But for the vast majority, um, and especially if you're not a pop artist, you know, mm. if you're a rapper or a band or, you know, someone playing guitar or something like that, it's not even the right route to take anyway. Mm. Um, I can see for a small range of types of artists, it can make sense. Um, especially if you, especially if you flip it. I mean, funnily enough, the people who have done well off of it are often, firstly, the people who haven't won, but the people who have then used yeah. that, used that yeah, exposure it's, it's, and that platform yeah, to then go love, and yeah. do their own thing. They've done that intelligently. I so. actually watched that, watch it religiously from, yeah. from even from the first, from the first one. And um, if I have a favorite, I'll say, please don't win. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's what I, yeah. that, that's what I say. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. But I guess now, um, I guess what you're trying to say is that you don't need to depend on all these people. No, they do help, yeah. but you know you can make it. You can do it on your absolutely. own. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think easy come, easy go. Mm -hmm. You know, if you take a long time to build something and really cultivate relationships and learn the ins and outs of all the different aspects. I mean, I, know, I feel like I know stuff. I know how to do stuff that a rapper doesn't really even have any business knowing how to do. You know, mm. like I built my own. I built my own websites and learn the e-commerce like this jacket i'm like all this stuff like, i didn't know how to make hats and chat like i've designed this and i'm not i don't consider myself a clothing designer but that's just stuff i've learned yeah on but the way again because in terms of, of your, how to do your, it. your corporate experience as well maybe a tiny bit but a lot of it is just it's just been learning on the job but i mm. think the great thing about doing it independently is then even if later down the line i mean i don't plan on my entire career handling everything myself mm. But even if I did bring someone on board, for example, to help me with certain aspects, then at least I can, I've done it before, so I can instruct them on, you know, some aspect of it. What a lot of artists do is they've never, maybe they've never managed themselves, maybe they've never booked their own show, maybe they've never planned their I own merch, that. maybe they've never done a t-shirt run, so they don't even know how to get t-shirts printed. You mm. know what I mean? Like, to me, that's... Super, I, I, you know, I get you because you know um, how to do the things. Uh, for me personally, I sit in front of the camera, but I can operate the camera. Yeah. There's absolutely nothing about production yeah. that I can't do. Yeah. What I can't physically do is edit, but I know that's what but you know what each software can give you. Exactly. So if, if an editor, if I say to an editor, for instance, I want you to give me this, and mm. he says he can't give me, I ask what software, and we, so so yeah, po yeah. point, v yeah, yeah. very very valid. Yeah, it's, very... It's, it's good to know. You don't need to know ab, you know the ins and outs of mm. everything. That's overkill. But you should have an idea. Yeah, but it's good to have an idea of how the various bits of what you're doing work mm. so that you can, like I said, you can instruct other people or if something goes wrong, if one of the lights or the camera is not in the right mm. place, you can mm. yeah, have the knowledge to say, okay, no, we need to move this yeah. here or, you know, just little things like that. Fantastic. Unfortunately, we have to go. I got, I asked. I got through, I got <laughs> through it, that voice. But just before you go, oh. so bring it to this camera for me, please. That would inspire the young ones. Have I made you shy? No. It was hard work blush. for me. I can't blush. It doesn't matter, you blush somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Say something into that camera for me, please. Say something into the camera? Yeah, for the anything young ones. Anything in particular? Or? You know, anything that oh, would inspire, right. okay. inspire the young ones. Okay. Um, yo, what's up? It's Zui. Um, to anyone who's watching, any young people, I just want to say, it might sound cliche, but if you've got a dream, go after it. Follow it. Learn, study, learn from other people, and just don't give up. Thank you. Thank you.
And one last thing. Yeah. You're going to rap for me. Or for us. Okay. Oh, gosh. I wasn't prepared. I'm a rapper, though, so. It's a challenge. I give it's all my guests the challenge that they're not aware of. So, yeah. and I've made it easy for you. It's what you do. <laughs> okay, how about something like... No one can try for me. No one can lie for me. And Jesus did already. You ain't got to die for me. Appreciate the sentiment. Believe the flow is heaven sent. If it is, I'll reach it from the palace to the tenement. Palace to the wisdom, motivation through the rhythm. Know that every verse is conscious and is treated with precision. So when you see the light, you say I'm ill with no rescission. And I told you that already, but was greeted with derision. Been spending all my time perfecting optimal lines. And I don't work a nine to five. It's not an optional grind. With the dopest innovation from my optimist mind, I made a focused transformation to my optimist prime. So you might see me zoning out backstage where the stars be. A wild and out in Europe while I'm chasing the star screams. Industry is Megatron. Zuby is a Megadon. I'm iller than the hip. I'm stacking power like it's Energon. <laughs> <laughs> is that one of your... Or you made that's, that? a, that's, from, uh, that's actually from one of my songs. I was there. I was there like thinking, oh, I hope I remember this. Yeah, that's from that one was, of my songs. That was amazing. Thank you. Can I give you a hug? Of course you can. Okay, so that I can breathe. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on the You're show. You're very welcome. Thank, Thank you. you for the Thank opportunity. You. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, okay. I got sit down. Just wait. <laughs> I got through that actually. That voice. Oh gosh. Thank you so much for watching the show today. I'm sure you had a lot of fun. And the, this gentleman here is truly an inspiration to, to the young ones, to me even. That you know you can do it, even if you have to do it all by yourself. And I remain Evelyn of Aho. I'm definitely sure we're going to do this sometime next time. Till then, goodbye and God. I want a billion fans, so I need a million first. I'ma gain another thou to stop the sickness of this verse. Even when I'm smiling sweetly, look at Zuby as a threat, and you'll get home before you see me like a noob in FPS. No button combination lets you cheat the game of life. Rappers looking in my pay, they think I'm cheating on the mic. But this girl's my one and only, and she never leaves me lonely. When I wanna beat it down, she's always waiting to bestow me. Spread the love like bigamy, so passionate with metrics. Uh -huh. Bars cannot belittle me, a style is anorexic. That means you think you're big, I hear you talking all aggressive. But you bark and never bite, and so your mark is unimpressive. My vision's not a dream, I'm motivated to achieve it. Yeah. You want a food for thought, and I'm providing it, so eat it. Yeah. I wrote this in my sleep, I mean, and no exaggeration. Even scheming when I'm dreaming, I don't waste imagination. Coming at you. <laughs> Bounce out, disaster. Coming at you. And the ladies love me too, like they love sex in the city. Say I'm blessed and I'm silly, but don't object cause I'm pretty. And always say I'm kinda cocky, but they know I'm kinda witty. And you know in my committee, it's just me, myself, and I. Three of my favorite rappers and a little book of rhymes. I got a lot of hustle, but ain't got a lot of time. Money's got a lot of muscle, so it's all about the grind. Take a different policy, I'll turn and pen a prophecy. My brilliance is vivid, but it's rival by my modesty. Honestly, I...